What's up everybody, it's Soren Baker here on Unique Access, and today I have the honor of saying I'm joined by Scarface, the icon, the legend. Thank you for coming through, sir. I appreciate you having me. Hey man, you know, and Face has selected a tribe called Quest, People's Instinctive Travels and the Paths of Rhythms for his best album. Now Face, this album came out in 1990, and at the time, rap was moving in. You know, we had the Afrocentric movement, we had gangster rap blowing up, we had street rap, we had everything going on. So and the Jungle Brothers had been out, De La Soul had come out, Three Feet High and Rising. Yeah. So what made this album something you were looking forward to? I think that the pieces to that puzzle was so artistic, so different, so damn, listen to, listen to Q-Tip's voice, listen to Fife, you know, listen to, listen to that. Listen to Ali, like it was, it was dope, the beats were dope, man. The, 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 the rhymes were, were abstract, but they were dope, man. You know, it, it, it brought a whole nother feel in my opinion, to the game. Right. Like, it brought a whole nother feel. Like, that that was very inspirational to me. Like, it's, it's a few rap albums that really make me say, damn. Well, we're going to go through the, a lot of the album, but okay. the, of course, they had singles coming out first, but the first thing a lot of people heard and saw was I Left No Wild and El Segundo, which was the first big video they had for the album. So, <laughs> that song, first of all, I was like, what in the world is El Segundo? No shit. I had no idea. No what shit. are they talking about? And, no shit. Um, so for me, and the story was crazy, and like they, yeah. you know, introduced, you know, it wasn't often at the time either. Rap definitely had some comedic elements, you know, with Bismarcky and different things. It wasn't often you heard a dude saying he made all these mistakes to lead to one thing, and then they had to go back for it. <laughs> so you, as a great storyteller, what did you like about uh, what Q-Tip did on that song? You know, that was that was a good, great song. That was a great song, in my opinion. I think the coldest part of, of that was. Um, I didn't know what the fuck El Segundo was until I came to Los Angeles, man. Okay. <laughs> and you the saw street. the sign? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it really dawned on me. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, me either, man. But that wasn't my favorite song either. No, no. me neither. I mean, no. Can I Kick It, both the album version and the remix, I thought were incredible. And I, I didn't know what to think when Marky Mark used it later for his song. But. I like Mark. Yeah, yeah. right. But my favorite song is. I don't eat mm, ham and eggs. Ham and eggs at all. Is uh, it high on cholesterol? Do. Yeah. Yo, tip, do you eat them? Nope. I do you eat them? No. Not at all. Man, that's a jam. Uh, so, what do you like about ham and eggs? Because that's a song a lot of people don't really reference. I like ham. I just like the beat. It's super funky. It was, man. And as a as a musician yourself, like when you hear that type of stuff, since you said this is so inspirational to you, like what did you take from that or see that rap was doing a little bit differently that kind of influenced or you were able to apply? It was playing over samples, man. Mm -hmm. they, you know that, uh, uh, they, and they were replaying samples too. That uh, the Marvin Gaye, blue, 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 the youthful expression, the blue, 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 yeah. That shit was damn. Mm -hmm. I forgot how dope that fucking album was, man. I'm getting fucking goosebumps, man. Tears. Yeah, yeah. Like that was a dope ass motherfucking album, dog. God damn. And then they had uh, Push It Along, which opened Push the it album. Along. Push It Along, yeah. Boom. Uh, 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 Cypress Hill used that for Hits from the Bong, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, because the That's another dope the fucker, sound. man. We man the nineties, god damn. Yeah, there was a lot of great albums. Motherfucker. Now with the wordplay and the interaction, because Fife, even though he had some real standout moments, he really wasn't on People's Instinctive Travels in the Paz Rhythm much. He was only on a few different songs. Right. So for you Q tip. Q tip dominates the album. Uh yeah, but what do you think that Fife brought to Ham and Eggs to uh you know, can I kick it? A, a different sound, a different voice, a different pitch. Rhymes on those on those particular records you had to catch. Now specifically, in what ways did Tribe influence what you would do? I can't say that it was an influence, but I can say that it was an inspiration. Okay, well how did they inspire you? To be different. Mm -hmm. To not be scared to just make songs about whatever you wanted to make songs about. Like they, they fucking made records like uh, my man was in the studio and his name was Bust Ryan. In the fact. Mm -hmm. Damn! Fuck! 
And two, Man, with Tribe Called Quest, bro. All right, All right so, so Face, good. looking back, what do you think makes Tribe Called Quest, People's Instinctive Travels in the Paths of Rhythm, a best album? It's an album that I regard, you know, as a, 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 a it's up there way high because it, it kind of um, carved out who I am, mm -hmm. you know, or who I was back then. There was nothing else like it. It was nothing out like that at that time. I think that it being so different made it so dope. You know, don't get me wrong, like a lot of the, the, the Jungle Brothers and the uh, De La Souls, mm -hmm. you know, I was big fans of that shit too. You know, all I right. got all the De La shit in here. My favorite uh, De La Soul, Soul song still to this day is Merely pulled a pistol, pistol on Santa, Santa Claus. Yeah. yeah, that's still my favorite. Like it was written so brilliantly, you right. know. Um, but when you go and you start digging into a tribe called Quest catalog and the uniqueness of that, those two, those three rappers, those, the, just the uniqueness of that shit, bro. It was like, damn, this is something. It was, it was, it was very inspirational, man, back then. And then when they dropped the new shit. Mm -hmm. Incredible. That shit, man, it's like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's upper class. That's the upper echelon of hip hop, bro. Well, Face, appreciate you coming through for this Tribe Called Quest Best Albums. Oh, that's, People's that's Instinctive that's Travels in the Past Rhythm. Scarface in the building, y'all. Tribe is dope, man. Mm -hmm.